Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain the difference between a steady state and a transient signal and then demonstrate in the end. So a system is said to be in steady state when the variables defining its nature are constant with respect to time. Uh, now the variables in case of a steady state signal are the amplitude and frequency. So the amplitude and frequency are constant with respect to time or they do not change with respect to time. Such a signal uh, is a steady state signal. Now a transient signal, uh, you know, the variables are not constant with respect to time, meaning the frequency and the amplitude change with respect to time. So this is how a steady state signal looks like. Now notice the amplitude and frequency are constant with, res with respect to time. Uh, and they also are repetitive with respect to time. And this is how a transient signal looks like. And notice the amplitude and uh, frequency, they are not, not constant and so they are also not repetitive with respect to time. Now steady state signals are, you know, can be comprised of many sine waves. Uh, here I have represented a pure tone but it can really be, a, you know, like a finite sum of sine waves. When it is a finite sum of sine waves, it looks something like this, like a square wave. Now transient signal on the other hand are infinite sum of sine waves. So they comprise of a lot of, uh, you know, sine waves. This is a steady state sine wave with a frequency of 1 kilohertz. This is how the signal looks like. Look at the amplitude, it's not changing with respect to time. Now let's look at a transient signal. This is how a transient signal looks like. Look at the sudden, uh, you know, impulsive amplitude and it's dying down exponentially. Now let's look at the frequency spectrum of, you know, these two signals. So this is a frequency spectrum of a 1 kilohertz signal. You know, since it has only one frequency, we can see like it's a very narrow band event. Now, if, if it comprised of two or more frequencies, we can see, you know, two or more bands. Now, let's look at the frequency spectrum of a transient signal. So, this is how the frequency spectrum looks like. Actually, it's a box snap, which is uh, indeed a transient signal. So, uh, you know, it's a wide band event. So, it, it involves a wide spread of frequencies and hence it's also called as a, you know, transient signals are called as infinite sum of frequencies. Alright, so this is Audacity. I'm going to use it to demonstrate a steady state and a transient signal. So the bottom one here is steady state and the top is transient. Let's start with the steady state. So this was a 1 kilohertz tone. Now let's listen to a transient signal which is nothing but snapping a box. Sounds like an impulse, isn't it? So the impulse is so short that it excites all the frequencies, hence it's an infinite sum of frequencies. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.